All right, welcome back to uh, the second round of this battle pack challenge. Essentially, is what I'm you know calling this. I mean, it's a competition, but it's kind of a challenge too because this um, the second round we were uh, guessing uh, one of the cards I would pull, one of the myst myst mystical archive cards. Um, so it's kind of a challenge and a battle pack all together. So um, the top card is still going to win the first choice of the prizes available and so on and so forth, um, as well as uh, if you um, your pack pulls a gold signature art series card. And it's going to be a lot less of an opportunity, but you did get a guess one as well. So I'm hoping we can get a few winners. I do feel good about this next coming around. For some reason, I'm feeling that there's going to be at least two packs that are open where the cards are going to be really close, maybe high in value too. Um, so let's see if we can get that going on. So first of all, we got to jump into um, our name list. We've got 10 commenters, 10 uh, uh, participants. We do have a new sub. Um, that is Izzy Workman. So everybody say hello to Izzy. Uh, first time on here. So maybe uh, she might get beginner's luck. You never know. Um, so we're going to randomize the names real quick. We're going to do the normal three. Um, the block is already highlighted. So let's go ahead and randomize to see who gets pack number one and then so on and so forth. All right. There is one. Uh, we've got two. And then here is our last randomization to see who gets pack number one mtg strategist is going to start off with pack number one uh, so we're going to jump into that i did add a few more cards into the selection process um you're still going to get to choose your second card is going to be the uncommon or common um showcase or uh, variant versions um so um i'm gonna turn my camera around and show you what those are get uh, to the actual um, pack opening um, camera screen I, I, so for these videos uh, I'm in the past just so I can clarify some stuff I had um, done uh where I'd pre-done some of these videos because I was trying to get some packs opened, and so I um, allowed you to guess, and I know nobody knew what was coming. I may have known what was coming, but I didn't give anybody any pointers. Everybody just guessed what they thought would, would happen, and you know stuff would come up. But these packs are actually being opened right now um, as I'm doing this video, so I will pause it, fix my camera, go to where I need to be, and the magic of video, you know, puts me back where I need to be, and then I open packs. So nothing is done yet uh, as of right now, and then uh, I'm gonna go into it, and packs are gonna be open. Boom! All right. So here we go. Um, just so I can get some general information out as well. Um, and when we're choosing the cards, um, when it comes to variants, it's specifically going to be cards that are open. You can open from the um, general set boosters or regular booster packs or even uh, um, the um, uh, collector booster, the variants. Um, I know there's a lot of other cards out there like the promo packs, but those aren't. you can't get those except for a promo pack. So um, those I wouldn't suggest as being... Uh, guesses if I'm doing a guessing um, portion of the video or um, selection cards because I don't have very many promo packs. I've only opened one promo pack I think in my existence of doing cards so I don't have any promos um, so those won't be available for giveaway um, or for guessing purposes because they won't come in these packs. Nonetheless let's just get into it here as well. Also if you are watching these videos and jumping into it and maybe you've already stopped watching maybe you're checking it out for the first couple minutes and you're okay with that and you don't want to watch this whole video, I'm not going to make you. If you want to see what the next challenge is or what the next uh, details are for the video, it'll be at the back end of this video. But if you want to see what packs are open, what kind of stuff comes out of it, by all means, watch the video. Um, but if it gets you involved to comment because you know what the rules are and you don't want to wait for the video, I, you know, it's kind of, it is what it is. But if it's going to get you involved, hey, you do what you got to do. All right, so we still have Folio Fancies, Felidar Retreat, Foil, Iron Crag, um, Feet, Abundant Harvest, Mythos of Nethroy, Amareth, uh, the Lustrous, um, Etched Foil from Commander Legends, uh, Joriel, Moon Volley, Luke Recluse, Foil, uh, and then I've added, so those are the ones from the previous stuff, so I've added uh, Redan, God of the Worthy, the Showcase uh, from Kaldheim, Kosima from Kaldheim, Jorn, God of Winter, also Kaldheim, and uh, I think all this is going to be Kaldheim, there might be a few, so Nika Aras, there's an addition, that's a Borderless, that's a pretty cool one. Uh, so that's it up for grabs. Resplendent Marshall, another good one. Also have Search for Glory, uh, Ascendant Spirit, Blood on the Snow, Dream Devourer, Skim for Avenger, and I threw a couple extra ones in here at the back end uh, with Cargan Intimidator from Battle of Zendikar Foil, Legion Angel, um, um, Battle of, or not Battle, <laughs> Battle, Rise, Zendikar Rising, I'm way off here, um, Foil, and then I threw in Commander Legends, Commander Sphere, um, very art or extended art. So that's a cool one right there too if you're into looking for that. So those, I've added some options. You can pause the video um, or however you want to do it. You can run through it real quick just to see. But those are the options available for the rare slash mythic choice. Um, so like always, top card gets to pick first. 
Um, and then if you get any of the other things correct, um, you get to pick in, in order that it happens. So I'm going to just grab the 10 out of here randomly just so you guys... I do this because I want you guys to see that I'm shuffling out of the box that I have what's left. I don't just grab them in order, which is fine too, but I like to, you know, everybody to think that I'm shuffling a little bit. And it's not just a, uh, a select number that I've already predetermined or anything like that, which it's not that big of a deal. Everything's it's a free opportunity to win cards. There's no way I'd even give it crap about trying to set something up because that's not even worth it. Even if it's gotten money involved, it's kind of shady. Ooh, well, I put my extra packs off to the side and the thing that was holding it up fell down and, and the box fell over. So uh, I'll get that later. No big deal. All right, so set them off to the side. Well, I guess before I set them offside, we'll mix them up a little bit. So we still have MTG Strategist over here, who is our number one pack. Now that I'm six minutes in this video, I'm going to try to speed up a little bit if I can. Uh, I'd, I'd hate um, the videos going super, super long. Um, but we will get through it. Trust me. All right, pack number one. Here we go, MTG Strategist. Let's see what you have. I'm serious. I'm pretty sure I'm going to have at least two cards in here. Two packs are going to battle um, for the top dog, um, and it's. I'm hoping we see it. Hey, look, we got a list card. Now, I didn't do it this time around. I wanted to change it up. Maybe third round, I'm going to do list card again, but right now, it's going to be the foil stamp. So if you get one of those, you are a prize winner. All right, let's see. Did we get one? No, but we got a cool-looking art card. Uh, I don't know who this guy is, but I'm going to check him out. He is uh, Awaken the Blood Avatar. Okay, Awaken the Blood Avatar. We've got a foil uh, plane, so that's pretty cool. Uh, start from scratch, straight off into the uncommons like nobody's business. Right, and we'll shuffle back. We're not going to do anything. I don't see any dragons approach or anything like that. I like to point them out because there's some of your top cards. Tend to the pests, or tend the pests. Um, uh, I feel like maybe the light's okay there. It is a little bright. Let's, let's go ahead and bounce. I put it up on my face. So that uh, I'm a little more clear because my lights are kind of dim in this room. Uh, so I, I do that so it's a little clearer. But we, can you see? Can we see our Demogoth Woe Eater pretty good without being too too much of a glare? Sometimes the light, even from an angle, glares. Oh, hey there. The light even glares a little bit more than you want it to. Sorry about that. It got a little squirrely. There we go. That's better. At least you can see it. There's not any glare. Uh, Demogoth, the Woe Eater. And then we've got a Mythic Rare. And it is Hoffrey Ghost Forge. So we do have a Mythic Rare. Uh, first pack. Not bad. So Hoffrey Ghost Forge. I'm not sure if I've read it before in a pack opening. Uh, any of the other packs. But it's a 5-drop Legendary Dwarf Cleric. Spirits you control. Get a plus and plus and have trample and haste whenever another non-token creature you control dies. Exiled. If you do, create a token that's a copy of that creature. Except it's a spirit in addition to its other types. Which gives it a plus one plus one. Nice. And trample haste, and then uh, it has when this creature leaves the battlefield, return add the exiled card you to your graveyard. Oh, okay, so that's pretty cool. So you exile something, get a creature, and then when it dies, you get to put the exiled card back in your graveyard. It doesn't happen too often. That's actually a new twist in the game. Usually, when that stuff's exiled, it stays there unless there are a few random cards that pull them back. So that's pretty neat. Ooh, and we do have a rare um, Mystic Archive card. So that's a double hit for Empty Tree Strategist. Or strategist, I'm gonna say it right one of these days. Which there you go. Remember first pack um, tends to look pretty good. Right now I don't know what the values of these are, but you got two rares, so we can't argue. Lightning Helix, that's not bad. Um, I don't think I've got this one yet, but that's pretty cool. Lightning Helix is old school reprint, uh, a red and a white. Uh, it deals three damage to any target, and you gain three life. Pretty good stuff right there. And your foil on the back is your enthusiastic study. Not bad, so... Uh, oh, I forgot about the list card. And we're going into Chemister's Insight. So a reprinted card from uh, Guilds of Ravnica. Pay four, draw two cards with a jump start. Don't expect that to be worth a whole lot, but still a good card nonetheless. We'll be playing. Um, all right, so let's see. I'm going to guess it's Lightning Helix, but that uh, legendary creature is pretty good. So we'll see what the uh, value is um, for either one of those, and we'll check it out and put it up on the board. All right, I stand corrected. Uh, it was good cards, two good pulls, a mythic rare legendary creature, and a rare uh, lightning helix mystical archive. But uh, unfortunately, uh, I did actually set the wrong card out. The mystical archive is not the highest value. It's only 146, but the Hofri is 195. So we're sitting at 195 for Hofri, uh, Ghost Forge. And um, uh, that's the top card so far. Um, not as good and as productive as it has been in the past for first pack, but hey, you know, it is what it is. 
Um, so let's uh, check out the next uh, pack, which is going to be Archangel Elf. All right, so I slapped on the updates. Uh, I should have put it on it before I you know, <laughs> unpaused the video. Uh, so it's up there. But I am going to try to remind myself to check um, the Mystical Archive guesses as well. Uh, to see if anybody hit one of those so I can um, identify that on the video. I didn't even think about it. Nobody got that last one, but um, I still want to make sure it's identified. All right, Archangel Elf, let us see what you pull here. Do we get another list card? We do. Back-to-back -back list cards, maybe? I should have done list again. We might have had a lot of winners. Um, but, hey, it is what it is. Like, I got to change it up. Can't always be the same. I'm not the best at doing everything. Uh, as far as my videos, I'm not really the best at anything at all, to be honest, but I, I want to keep it a little random. I don't like to just keep it. It seems pretty stagnant if you do the same stuff over and over again, so I had to change it up a little bit. But I do like the battle pack. If you guys like the battle pack and you're really into it, please just continue to comment. Hit the like button, you know, get those likes up, pass it to your friends, all the stuff that it, it does to help promote the video because, you know, I, I like giving away um, stuff to, to my 10 to 15 routine um, um, subscribers that are on here, but I, I, I want to get a list that's, you know, 400 long, whatever, one day and, and, see, and see how that rolls rolls out. Um, but nonetheless, continue on. I got another announcement I have to make at the back end of this video. Um, so uh, hopefully I remember. Uh, I tend to forget things as I go along. All right, well, what do we have? We do not have a stamp, but we have a cool looking card. It's pretty neat. And that is Teach by Example. All right. We got a beautiful swamp card. Beautiful swamp card. Containment Breach. We do have a Dragon's Approach, so that's pretty nice. Nailed a Dragon's Approach. Always a good hit. Leave it outside because that might be the top card. I think it's close to almost a dollar ninety-five, so it would beat the pack from previous. I don't need to show you those because uh, those aren't important. Uh, let me just shuffle back to the cards that sort of matter. Mascot interception, intercepting the mascots, and we've got practical research. And our rare is as a land card. We've got furry calm snarl. Furry. It's Fury Calm Snarl. <laughs> furry. <laughs> I'm a turd. So red, white, and this one is a little different. I don't believe it's like the rest of them. It comes in uh, to the battlefield. You may reveal a mountain or plains card from your hand. If you do, don't. Furry Calm uh, Snarl enters the battlefield tap. I guess it's the same as the other ones. For some reason, I was thinking it was different. And we have another uh, rare back here. Flippy Flip. It looks like you might have. You could have three rares in this pack. That's a good pack. That's a good starting pack right there. You may even four because there's a list card back there. So our next rare is a flippy, and it is Flame Scroll Celebrant. So Flame Scroll Celebrant is a flippy flips two drop human shaman. Uh, whenever an opponent activates ability that isn't a mana ability, Flame Scroll Celebrant deals one damage to that player. Uh, pay two, and it gets a plus two plus zero until a turn. And the backside is going to be, I think I've already read this card actually, but that's okay. Uh, Revel in Silence, two drop. Your opponents can't cast spells or activate Planeswalkers or loyalty abilities this turn. Exile reveal. Revel in Silence. Not not bad, not bad. And what do we get for our Mystical Archive? Boom, it is another rare. Teferi's Protection. Mythic Rare. That is a pretty good hit. Booyah! Somebody told me they like my booyah, which is fine. I know I copied it, but that's a good hit, folks. Teferi's Protection, Mythic Rare, Mystical Archive. I do not believe that was guessed. I just went through the list a second ago, but it was not. I don't think it was guessed, but I will double check before I say yay or nay on that. Three drop instant mythic rare. Until your next turn, your life total can't change, and you can and you gain protection from everything. All permanent you control phase out. Exalt to Fairy's Protection. All right, Archangel Elf. Um, that's going to be up there. I have no doubt in my mind. I got a Teferi's Protection list card um, from uh, maybe uh, Resident Evil Rising when I opened them, uh, and that was a twenty dollar card. And I think. It's, bat, it's moved its way up to 40. So this Mystical Archive one is going to be up there. I don't think it's near as high because it's a reprint again, but it's going to be up there. I think you're going to take the lead. Uh, our foil is going to be Test of Talents. All right, and then we have got a list card back here. It could be, this could be four rares in a pack, folks. This is very awesome. What do we got? What do we got? We got Grizzly Fate. It is not a rare, or is it? I don't know. It's colored. It's from... Uh, judgment. I think it's judgment with the balances, but I'm not sure what that's from. Uh, if it's just, I can't tell if it's uncommon. The color's weird from from my eyes. I got bad eyes sometimes when I look at the colors that are really close like that. But uh, I'll find out in a minute. So Grizzly Fate is a five drop uh, sorcery. Put two 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 green bear creature tokens into play. Threshold instead put four two two green bear creature tokens into play. Uh, flashback. Uh, seven. Uh, you may play this card from your graveyard for its flashback cost and root from the game. So your threshold, I believe, is when you cast this. Uh, I'm pretty sure threshold's the same 
I don't know if it's different, but I have a threshold card that tells you if you cast this, if there are over seven cards in your graveyard, you can cast it and get the threshold. But if there's not seven cards in your graveyard, you just get the first half of it. Uh, pretty cool, though. Not bad at all. So Grizzly Fate um, for the um, list card. That's a pretty good uh, pack right there. Um, I'm going to say Archangel's probably got the lead. So uh, there's my first one. Let's see what we can get. We still have eight more packs to go. Let's check out the prices and see where he sits on the list. And yes, Teferi's Protection did not disappoint. We are at $30.98 for that Mystical Archive version of this card. Uh, that's pretty sweet. So... Uh, sorry, that was not on the camera. So that is that's there's your leader, folks. Thirty ninety eight, uh, and the Grizzly Fate was only a forty cent card. Pretty good card, I think. Uh, and, and at retrospect, the cost a little high, but I think it's not that high. Five drop, but it was only an uncommon, so it wasn't a rare. We almost had a four rare pack, four rare higher pack. Um, pretty darn good. So Teferi's Protection taking the lead. All right, who do we have next? We got Tommy Gold. Tommy Gold. Sorry, Grizzly Fate. I, I was pulling for you. All right. Can we get three list pack list cards in a row? Three list packs. We'll be the list pack. Is it, is it? Is it? No. We are going to just step back in time and turn that into a token. No list card this time around, which is fine. It, it doesn't really do anything for the giveaways. It's you're, we're, we're looking for the stamp card on the front side of this. Um, so that's what we're looking for. That's what we want to see. Do we have one? Do we have one? Mm, oh, no. I did see a foil card down there, though, which there is one. Nope. No stamp foil. So no no bonus winner here. Uh, Emergent Sequence. Andreas Zephretas is your artist. So there you go. We've got a forest. we got a lesson. Lesson. Let's go ahead and keep shuffle. Plum the Forbidden. That's a good one. It's a pretty gnarly card right now. It's pretty popular with its ability and stuff that's your remo the removal from the game kind of stuff or removal from the field of play is pretty decent uh, stuff going on right now. And then we've got Mage Hunter as well as Access Tunnel. And then our next, I guess we got a couple uncommons in a row here. Hall Monitor. And our first rare is... Prismari Command. So we got Prismari Command. I'm pretty sure I read this before. So you get to choose two options. Three drop, not bad. You get to deal two damage to any target. Drop two cards and discard two cards. Uh, create treasure token or destroy target artifact. Pretty good stuff. Uh, we do not have a rare or mythic rare for the um, archive, but somebody could have guessed correctly on this. I'll have to check that out. Uh, nobody did guess Teferi's Protection. I'm pretty sure I didn't see that. I read through it pretty quickly, but uh, let's see what we got. We got Opt. Somebody, I think, did choose Opt. I can't be for sure, but I will double check and I will indicate that on the pricing portion of this pack opening. And our foil is going to be Bookworm. Good old Bookworm. All right, so not going to lie, I don't think there was anything super exciting in this pack uh, for uh, Mr. Tommy Goal. So sorry, buddy. I don't think you're going to catch 3098 on this pack. But hey, nonetheless, let's check it out, see what we've got on value for these car or for the top card in this pack. All right, so Prismari Command was the top card, which is the rare, which is cool that it was the top card, and it wasn't bad. Three fourteen, um, not bad. I mean, it wasn't uh, wasn't thirty ninety eight, but nonetheless, it's it's the second highest card so far. Pull, uh, still a good card. Um, so I like uh, like that card. It was pretty good. And no, like I said, Opt was not chosen. I thought it was, but I think someone selected that as their card for um, their uh, prize for the last video. And that's what I was thinking. <clears throat> All right. Moving right along, Mr. Seth Williams, let's see what you got. Do you get a stamp card? Do you get the top card out of these packs? We don't know. We'll find out. No list card on this one. Just a spirit token. All right. Let's see what we got. Oh, no stamp. No stamp. But that one is going to be Specter of the Fins. And we've got an island card. Super Fractal. Pop Quiz. Not any, not too many uncommons in this one. We're straight into the uh, pretty much only one uncommon, I think. So we got uncommon there. We got explosive welcome, explosive welcome. There we go. And then we've got our next card is a baleful mastery for our rare. That's not bad. We'll take it. And that one is a four drop. Instant you may pay uh, two rather than pay the spell's mana cost uh, if the uh, one in a swamp and another cost was paid and opponent draws a card exile target creature or planeswalker so you can make it cheaper exile something but you give them a card pretty cool and then we've got 
are oh this one could be i think somebody might have picked this one I'm, I'm feeling this is maybe shock but let's see we've got claim their firstborn so i was a bit off uh i don't know i have to check somebody may have said this one i'm not sure nonetheless we will check it out and we'll move on to the next card we've got spirit summoning foil pretty cool and we've got a spirit token to go with that spirit summoning <clears throat> all right so i uh, don't think that's going to be 3098 but we're going to check it out anyway and see what we got all right baleful mastery was the top card sitting at one dollar and 29 cents for this pack uh, i'm not going to do it but you know we we're we're getting some all right cards actually i mean they may not be the highest value cards but baleful mastery is a pretty good card i think um so it's nice to be able to pull quality cards that you can put into a deck or do something with instead of just a bunch of not so great cards <clears throat> Anywho, uh, Narek New 9-3 is next up, and let's see what we got. We do have another list card that could that could be a positive, that could be a big hit um, for um, Narek New if his other cards are not satisfactorily up there. Let's see if he's got a gold stamp. No, I don't know if I'm going to get one. We're halfway through at this point. We've got Killian Ink Duelist. That is the art card. A forest. Oh, we do have a Mythic Rare lesson. I've opened this before. It's a pretty cool lesson, but being a Mythic Rare, I feel like it's cheated out of value. Uh, seven drop created 2 1 white and black inkling creature token flying, and 3 2 red and white spirit creature token with token and a 4 4 blue and red or elemental creature token. So, seven drop Mythic uh, Rare lesson mascot exhibition. So, there we go. We'll put that up here out the way. We'll skim through and get to the other stuff right quick. Deadly Brew, and then we've got Dinna Soul Steeper. It's a pretty good card with some of the combos out there with your uh, pest creatures and some other stuff. Seen it already. Pretty good combo. And our rare is Poet's Quill. I think it's the first time I've seen this one. So Poet's Quill, two drop artifact equipment. When Poet's Quill enters the battlefield, learn, which means you go get this guy down here if you need him. If it, if it works in this in this setup, but you go get that lesson. Um, and then uh, equipped creature gets a plus plus and has lifelink and then equip it cost is a two swamp and one other and our myth mystical archive card is a rare I mean some of the rares are pretty high in value I don't know if they're going to be as quality as to various protection but there's still some good ones out there uh, what do we got regrowth uh, somebody I do believe picked that so uh, I'm not sure who it was somebody picked it uh, I'll go back and check it very well could have been direct new if he picked his own card that's pretty pretty pimp right there um, I'll have to take a look at that. Uh, so we've got two rares, three rares. We're three rares deep. We do have a list card. Uh, could we have our first four rare pack? Would be awesome. Could have five if there was a foil, but it's not a rare. I'm done. Done deal. No, no five rares. So our regrowth is growth is two drop return target creature card from your graveyard to your hand. So there we go. And we've got square up. That's a really cool foil. Um, I like that. Uh, so pretty cool. I think I do have that one already. And our list card is going to be ooh an older card from uh, i'm not sure what set but it's definitely older let's see what cool stuff we got boom kark's thumb i knew this was pretty good we did get four rares though kark's thumb is a rare so not too bad four rares in the pack that's probably the best pack we've had so far maybe not the highest in value but still a lot of good cards pulled out of this pack so kark's thumb is a two drop legendary artifact if you would flip a coin instead flip two coins and ignore one so you get the best of two it doesn't say which one to ignore it just says you forget one of them but there's some stuff in these cards um, sets from back then that there's a lot of coin flipping things going on that would um, you know play out for the game. So pretty cool, good old Kark's thumb. All right, let's go ahead and check it out. Let's see if Narek New guessed his own mystical card, mystical archive card, and let's see what these values are. All right, Killer Man. Whew. Oh man, I was getting a little nervous. Uh, so I started checking the prices of the rares. The first two. Less than a buck. Regrowth, even. Mystical Archive, less than a buck. Uh, which, by the way, Tommy Gole, uh did uh, select. So it wasn't Narek New. I was, I was thinking, man, he's on it. So, but Tommy Gold did correctly guess Regrowth, so he will get to choose um, second out of the packs after the top pack, top card selector goes first. So he gets to choose second. So, um, But he did compete. Uh, Clark's uh, uh, thumb here, the list card, is coming up at 1985. Uh, not bad at all. Um, not quite to 30, but hey, two good cards. Like I said, no, no, it's not like a race, a close race, which is going to be tough. Somebody's going to have to either hit a $29 card or a 31 and some change card to be like, that's a close race. But still, 
a $20 Karks, Karks Thumb list card. Pretty good hit. I'll take that one any day of the week. Four rares. One $20 rare out of the out of that pack. Good good stuff. Man, that's good stuff. Gets me excited. Gets me excited. All right. Izzy Workman. Is she going to get that beginner's luck? Is she going to break that $30 mark? That $31 almost? Is she going to break it? What's she going to get? Is she going to get a, is she going to get a card? Is she going to get a gift stamp foil? Is she going to guess correctly? Is she going to, oh, you know, whatever you want to call it. Is it? Is it going to be Izzy? That's what I want to know. And, I, and we'll find out eventually if I can get the stinking pack open. No list card. We do have a treasure, though. We do have a treasure. All right, we get it stamped. We get it stamped. Oh, no stamped. Man, no luck with the stampies. Ooh, I did foil in, though. Selfless Glyph Weaver. Got a foil swamp right there. Foil swamp. And some common cards, you know, like usual. Stone Binders Familiar. All right, Stone Binders Familiar. Booyah. And our rare is Conspiracy Theorist. I jumped right into that rare. For some reason, I thought I was going to have another in common. Conspiracy Theorist. Two drop human shaman. Whenever it uh, attacks, you may pay one. Discard a card. If you do, draw a card. Whenever you discard one or more non lane cards, uh, you may exile one of them from your graveyard. If you do, you may cast it this turn. Okay, cool, whatever. Uh, our next one is a rare. Another rare. So we got two rares in here. Back to back. And I don't think it's a Mystical Archive. It's just something else. It is... Strixhaven Stadium. I think I've opened this one already once before. We'll check it out real quick. Three drop. Tap it for a colorless. Put a point counter on Strixhaven Stadium. Whenever a creature deals combat damage to you, remove a point counter from Strixhaven Stadium. When a creature you control deals damage to an opponent, put a point counter on Strixhaven Stadium. Whew, this is confusing. Then if it has ten or more uh, point counters on it, remove them all and that player loses the game. Say what? Is it supposed to be target player, not that player? Which player are they talking about? I'm so confused. So if I have a creature, deals damage, I put a point counter on it. If somebody's creature, uh, if combat damage, uh, when a creature deals combat damage to you, remove a point counter. But if it gets the 10, it has 10 or more point counters on it. Remove them all, and that player loses the game. Uh, I'm going to have to look into this. If you know anything about it and you're listening to me, hold this card up here for longer, way longer than I need to, trying to figure this card out. Please, oh please, explain it to me. At least in your best way without, you know, writing a, a giant book. But nonetheless, I'm still confused. Either way, cool, whatever. All right, and our next card is our Mystical Archive. It is not rare, so we did not get multiple rares, just the two right now. It is Snakes Can Veil. I like that one. That's one of my favorite cards that's out of the newer sets. I love the Hexproof ability plus a one counter for one. Bad A, good card, good stuff. And our foil is Tangle Trap. We didn't get anything else. I was hoping we'd have something a little more exciting than that. All right. Uh, I'm sorry, Izzy. Uh, you got some cool stuff, but I don't think it's going to cut it. But let's check it out anyway. Sorry, Izzy. You do not have anything that's going to catch that $30.98. I forgot to mark it up there, but we got a solid $1, and I'll put it up there here in just a second. We got a solid $1 Strixhaven Stadium card. Uh, Snakeskin Veil was not guessed. Nobody did pick that card. Um, so that did not happen uh, this time around. But hey, Izzy, better luck next time. You can always participate in other stuff. And all you do is pay attention to the videos and to the details and comment usually. So maybe we'll get you something here um, in the next go around. There's always more. More to come. All right, moving right along. What did I do with that card? I totally put that in the wrong spot. We have Tim McWedgie. Uh, he, McWetchie. I'm going to say McWetchie. I want to say Wedgie, and I feel bad for trying to pronounce it, fella. Um, but it just rolls up the tongue faster than Wedgie. I'm guessing that's how you pronounce it. Um, but nonetheless, Tim. Tim number one. We got another Tim down there. His pack is going to be... Oh, no list card. No list card. But does he get a foil stamped? Is he going to get some cards? No. Still no foil stamp. I think I only got one in the last ten. Oh, I don't know if you saw that. There is a foil... Uh, um, mystical archive card in the back. Pretty cool. We got a fo Torrent Sculptor. Torrent Sculptor is our art series. We got a Swamp. Illuminate History. Rare right off the bat up the top of the pack. So we might have five rares in this one. Get some rares. 
four drop sorcery lesson. That one says discard any number of cards, then draw that many cards. Then if there are seven or more cards in your graveyard, create a three, two red and white creature spirit token. We've got some commons to shuffle through. Reckless, Burrow, Arcane, Quandrix Cultivator is our uncommon right there. And I don't think we're going to have any more. I feel like the next card is going to be a rare. Is it? Nope. We got one more. Emergent Sequence. And, oh, we got a Mythic Rare. I know it is because you can see the loyalty counters on there. Um, what do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Boom! Professor Onyx Mythic Rare Borderless. Now, we've got a hit, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, competition's getting fierce. I know this one's up there. I know the regular one's a pretty good price. At least the last time I checked was good because I think I opened the regular one. And I think it was 15 or 16 bucks. Maybe. I could be wrong. I could be just throwing up steam. I don't know. But nonetheless, we just got a Mythic Rare uh, Planeswalker. Borderless card. So, we're in the game now, folks. Way to go, Tomb! Professor Onyx. Six drop. Uh, so she does some cool stuff. Magecraft, so you target her. Um, you Each opponent loses two life, and you gain two life. Only when, not when you target her, whenever she casts an sorcery spell, sorcery spell, I was thinking, okay. So whenever you cast, oh man, that's dirty. That's why she's worth so much. Uh, you plus her up one, you lose one life. Look at the top three cards of your library. Put one of them on the hand, of your hand, into your hand, and the rest of your graveyard. Uh, subtract three. Each opponent sacrifices a creature with greatest power among creatures that player controls. And then if you subtract eight, each opponent may discard a card. If they don't, they lose three life. Repeat this process six more times. Yikes! That's disgusting. Pretty good hit there. Oh my goodness, that's a good. Oh look at that. Look, rare after rare after rare. I'm gonna close this up. This pack just got sick. I think that was another mythic. Nope, just two rares. I thought it was another M. I was like, did we just get three mythics? So we're already at four rares. Already at four rares. Four rare plus. What do we have here? First one is Mystical Archive card. Crozan Grip. That's a good hit, too. I like that. It's a good classic Crozan Grip card. So three drop instant, split second. Destroy target artifact or enchantment. So you can slash, slice, and dice one of those silly permanents that just gets in your dang way. Uh, and you got split seconds, so it's on the stack, bro. On the stack, the top. Uh, I'm pretty sure. Players can't cast spells or activate abilities that aren't man abilities, so stack it up. All right, what is our foil? Whoo, is it going to be the same thing? I oh, don't know. We got something a little different. Boom, Inquisition of Kozalek, or Kozalek, however you pronounce it. So that's pretty cool. Foil, uh, Mystical Archive, Inquisition of Kozalek. Um, this is a pack, ladies and gentlemen. Pack, pack, pack. Pack. Awesome stuff right there. We got a one drop sorcery target player reveals their hand. You choose a non land card from it with mana value three or less. That player discards that card. Whew. I'm pretty excited. I just I just got the, the chills, the pump chills of all the cool stuff that just came out of this one pack. Four rares, mythic rare, um, uh, planeswalker, can't spit up. Two mystical archives, one's a foil. Boom, 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 booyah. That's how we do it when we open packs, battle pack style. All right, let's go see what we've got on value here. Um, and I'll double check Crow's and Grip and Inquisition of Coast Lake, see if anybody guessed that. I uh, don't know if they did or not, but nonetheless, we're going to check it out. Man, oh man, oh man. This So what just happened here based on the value of these cards, based on the, the number of rares out of these packs, I'm going to change up the rulings for the next round. It's going to be a little bit more... Uh, competitive. We're not just going to shoot for one card. Uh, we're going to do a slew of stuff. But I'm going to explain that here at the back end of the video, but I'm going to show you what was on this pack, essentially. Um, I don't want to get into detail with that. I want to get these packs open. So we do have the first rare. It was only about a buck, which is still cool. A nice big buck there. Crow's End Grip. Good card. Good playability card. Mystical Archive. Only worth about a dollar two. A dollar itself. So not, not nothing great. But um, Inquisition of Kozalik. The regular version of it is like five and six bucks, seven bucks, I think. The foil, 15, 14, 39, just under 15 bucks. That is a huge hit. Professor Onyx, Borderless, uh, Mythic, Mythic Rare Planeswalker, set at 20 bucks. Unfortunately, did not meet um, and pass to Fairy's Protection, but the two of them together would have 15, 30, 35 bucks for both of those. Pretty good hit, uh, pretty good pack. So I'm going to change up how things play next next round. I'm hoping we get similar results. Um, if we don't, no big deal, but I'm going to throw it in the mix because I want to change it up a bit. So pretty cool, man. Uh, sorry, nobody guessed Crozane Grip or Inquisition of Kozalik. 
Um, but still, nonetheless, uh, that was a heck of a pack by uh, Mr. Tim McGwetchy. Uh Well done, sir. Um, sorry, I don't believe you're going to win anything because you didn't have a guest card. You didn't have a foil stamp. Didn't even have a list card, which wasn't part of the mix. But you had some awesome cards pulled out of your pack. Uh, so better luck next time, and hopefully you'll have the pack um, that wins um, next time. Um, so without further ado, um, I can talk all day long and be excited about stuff. I'm already getting raspy. I'm, this pack opening is exciting for me because this is actually kind of fun. I'm, I mean, the other ones have been fun, but this one's, I don't know, something about this one is just really fun to me. Uh, all right, so XX is next. we got three left. Let's see. we get got a pull list card by possible. Um, would help with the value. Maybe better, but no, just a fractal. Just a fractal. All right, is he going to win some cards, though? Is he going to have a stamp? Oh, no stamp. But that's one big, ugly, pest-looking thing. I wonder if that's tinned to pest. It's not. It doesn't look like it. No, bookworm. Big old, ugly bookworm. We got island. Oh, I didn't take, my, I didn't take a nice, calm breath. I mean, I was stoked to explaining that to y'all because there's just some high, high card, high value cards, good stuff out of that pack. Oh, pretty awesome. I like, I like when that happens. Uh, all right, so we've got Detention Vortex. Can you see it? Detention Vortex. And I think we're going right into the rares. Yep, so we got a rare. First rare is going to be uh, Ulrich Lormage. Ulrich Lormage. Let me get my arrow off there. That is the four drop uh, human warlock. You tap it, search the library for a card, put it into the grave, to your graveyard, then shuffle it. If it's an instant or sorcery card, put a plus a plus a counter on Ulrich Lormage. And our mystical archive is Divine Gambit. I do believe somebody guessed that one. I'm just going to put it out there. Divine Gambit. And we do have a foil back here. And it is Prismari Apprentice. Pretty cool. Pretty, pretty. I say pretty cool is a neat, but a very pretty looking card. It's the, There's a lot of reds and blues that are really nice looking on that foil. You know, I like when I get stuff that's really fascinating to see. All right. So nothing super crazy. You've got a fractal token there. Um... So, but we'll check it out. I don't think Divine Game is worth a whole lot. It is a Mystical Archive card, but we'll see what Orc is, and we'll put it up on the board. All right, I want to sincerely apologize uh, to XX, uh, but he currently is sitting at he or she. I, I, don't, I really, I'm not sure on um, the sexes of all of my sub subscribers, but um, they uh, pulled the lowest pack um, so far. 50 cents for Orc Lower Mage. Um, I'm sorry. Nothing else. I even checked the Prismari uh, Apprentice thinking it's cool of a foil it was. It might be worth a buck. And no, it was only worth 25 cents foil. So I'm sorry. You are at the bottom of the list. But Chad Williams did um, guess Divine Gambit. So um, Chad will get to guess or will get to pick some cards third uh, on the list. So we'll have the top card uh, winner, top value card go first, and Tommy Gold and Chad Williams. So right now that's where we're sitting for... Um, giveaways and moving right along to chad williams so he just won some packs he could win more if he gets top dog or if he gets a foil uh stamp so this is his pack let's see what we have for mr chad williams no list card no help there on the back side of that pack we got an avatar do we have a stamp no no stamp all right so now he's got to get the top card if he wants some more cards we've got primal command <clears throat> a swamp Reduce to memory. Solve the equation, which is a good one. It's like in the 70 to 80, 90 cent mark um, for uncommon. Mage Hunter. I guess I could have showed you that one, but you guys know what it is. Access Tunnel Ogun. Hall Monitor. We've got a bunch of uncommons this time. De Detention Vortex again. And our rare is uh, Flippy. Is it Aug Augur? The Augur guy? It is Augmenter Pugilist, or Pugilist, I like this guy. I really want to put a deck together. I've seen some, but I haven't really seen yeah, more than maybe one or two decks on Arena with it. Um, but I don't even remember what they were played or what they used. But I, I saw this guy, and I was like, you know what? I've got a pretty heavy land deck anyway, so maybe I can revamp that land deck that I enjoy playing and but use it build around this guy, essentially what he does and what the other half does. So essentially it's a three drop. So three drop for three, no big deal, you get that three drop for three, but he has trample. And if you have eight or more lands that you control, he gets a plus five, plus five. So you're talking eight, eight trample. If you've got a heavy land drop deck, get him out there, boom, he's eight, eight. The fun part is you gotta go with some blue in your deck because the backside of this, whew. all right, so 
Here we go. I'm going to read it for you. You've probably already read it, but Echoing Equation. Five drop. Choose target creature you control. Each other creature you control becomes a copy of it until end of turn, except those creatures aren't legendary if the chosen creature is legendary. Now, he may not be the biggest card out there, but if you're sporting a bunch of tokens, or let's say you're using uh, your uh, Scoot Swarm, right? Maybe you've multiplied it three or four times. you got three or four of them, little two twos out there, one ones. I can't remember what they are. You play this because you've got four in your hand, in your in your deck, so you've already got your 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 pugilist out there. Copy him, make all your scoot swarms, eight eights with trample until end of turn. Uh, that could be a game ender. I don't know. It's a little jank because it's sometimes hard to do, but I like it. I think I'm going to give it a shot. So that is our rare card there. We do have Infuriate for our Mystical Archive. I don't think anybody guessed it, but I will double check. We'll see where we're at. We do have a foil back here that is also a another Mystical Archive. And it is going to be Cultivate. So I think I've already opened this one too. We got Cultivate, and then we've got a Avatar token in the back. Oh, nothing super exciting, unfortunately. I can check solve the equation out, see where we're at on the value of that. Check out the pugilist, and then check these two out and see what is the top card for this pack. Who would have thought that I had to reach back to the uncommons to get the highest card value out of this? So uh, we essentially had the Pugilist was only 59 cents, Infuriate was 25, and the, the Foil Cultivate was 82 cents. But when I reached back and looked and saw the equation, $2.02. .02. Yeah, I mean, seriously. Now, the price of it, that's um, the list of media. The market's got to $2.12, so it's still running a $2 card. Um, I, there's a couple other ones out there that may have been used as the high card of their pack. I don't think we did have any, but nonetheless, that's what's going. But, Chad, you're not going to get the top card. No big deal. But you are going to choose some because you did win. Uh, you guessed correctly on the last pack. So, take it for what it's worth. But you didn't win anything this time. Or you didn't win anything on your pack, essentially. But you did win. All right, last and final pack. We had some close calls. We got a $20, a $30, and a nine, two $20 cards. Uh, even a $14, the same on the board. $15 almost. What are we going to have for Tim Bester? Is Tim going to crack it? Is he going to crack the case? Is he going to pull something sweet? I don't know, folks. Let's see what we got for Mr. Tim Bister's pack. Oh, my gosh. No list card, so no help there. But he still has a chance to win if he gets a full stamp. Last pack. Oh, no foil stamp. Cool looking card, though. That one is Agonizing Remorse. All right. So we've got a foily mountain. Necrotic fumes. Get that foil out of there. And we've got Kelpie Guide. Kelpie. A Kelpie Guide. Zimone, Quandrix Prodigy. And an upside down Plum the Forbidden. You see that? I I didn't shuffle anything, trust me. <laughs> Alright, our rare is Demogoth Titan. Read him before, pretty cool. He's a 10 eleven ten for four. When he attacks or blocks, you have to sacrifice a creature. So you gotta use him wisely. And then our mystical archive is going to be Cultivate again. So nobody's picked Cultivate. Nobody picked Infuriate. I'm pretty sure I could have been wrong. I'll have to go double check. I forgot to look, but I don't think I saw it. And we do have a foil back here. Lorehold Campus. And we have a filler card. So, Mr. Tim Bister, you didn't get anything there. No stamped card. No high card. I'm going to go ahead and check it because it's what I'm going to do. But I'm pretty sure you're not going to get $30 out of either one of those. But nonetheless, we still got some good stuff. There's always good cards to pull. Um, the Plum the Forbidden might actually be the top dog. I can't remember what the Demacoth Titan's going for. But nonetheless... Let's check it out. Yet again, I have to reach back to the uncommons to get uh, the top card from the pack. It was nothing exciting, but a dollar and eight cents is what it came out for Plum the Forbidden. Can't believe that. What is going on? Okay, okay, whatever. Uh, Demogoth Titan was like 68 cents. Cultivate was still um, behind the pack. Nobody did guess Cultivate or Infuriate. I double checked that. So we only ended up with three winners this time around. We uh, had no foil stamp cards, so we got unfortunate unfortunate pulls there. No stamp cards, no foil stamp cards, and we only had two guessed correctly mystical archive cards. So I'm going to change it up a little bit. I might give you a few more options to work with 
as far as win possibility. I'm still going to do some guessing, though. <laughs> Since we didn't fare very well with the Mystical Archive, I might keep it the same, but I don't know. Um, so our winner right now currently is um, Tommy Gold. Uh, not Tommy Gold. Um, we had Archangel Alpha with a $30.98 card uh, to Fairy's Protection. Um, Mystical Archive. Pretty pretty good hit right there, um, Archangel Alpha. Way to go. Congratulations on top win. So you get first selection of the available cards. Uh, Tommy Gold goes second, and then Chad Williams goes third because he also guessed correctly. Um, so that's what we have. I'm going to put the camera on me so you can listen to me talk and see my face and um, all that good stuff. So if you um, are just chiming in because you, you really didn't feel like watching all the pack opening, that's fine. Um, so next time around, I'm going to go ahead and jump right into it. Um, I think I was going to explain something. So I noticed that some of these packs are coming with four rares possibly. So um, I'll change the determination on that when I get to the next round. But um, if you are pulling... Um, four rares out of your packs. Um, I'm going to allow all your rares to be added to um, the value of your pack. So if one person only pulls one rare and they pull to Fairy's Protection per se in this situation, $30. $30 but if somebody pulls four rares and their rare, four rares are equal to 36 bucks, they would get the nod for top pulls in the video. Um, that's just you, somebody's going to get four rares. It's happened. It happened like three times. Well. Two times, but three, uh, two, two or three other times they had three. So I might break it down to that. If you have at least three rares in your pack, you could add them all up um, to, to be a total. And I'm not going to count the end comments because I feel like the rares is really kind of where it kicks off for that. But I might, I might say if you got a top uncommon, all the stuff that's above a buck, you could add it into the equation. <clears throat> that's the time, another place that's just thrown out there. So that's going to be one way to win and still have an opportunity to win. It's going to be more competitive, but we're also still going to um, do the stamp foil. As an option, um, I'm going to throw the list back in there, and then you're still going to have one guess. But I'm going to swap it, um, I think, because I'm going to spread it out. Since you got more options, now you get to pick uh, a mythic or rare card, and I think there's 90 to choose from. Um, some of them are commander cards from the from the um, uh, collector booster packs. I, I'm going to guess that the commander cards are not in here, so be careful which ones you select. Make sure you're not choosing one that specifically says C21 on the card, um, or it says commander card, because it's not going to probably be in these packs. Uh, I don't believe there are. If they are, I could be wrong. Um, I'll double check the videos, and I'll make a comment if I have to. But there you go. Guess a mythic or rare card. Um, um, Non-mystical archives. So that gives you more options, but we're going to scrap it. No mystical archive guesses, just regular mythic or rare cards that are pulled out of this pack. Um, uh, spoil stamp can win you, and a list card can win you. So there's a lot of options for this next round. So I just need my comments. Uh, your guess is your comment to get you into the next uh, round. Um, so uh, in my announcement, I, I haven't figured out what I'm going to give away. But I'm really close to 300 subscribers at like 291 right now. So if I can breach 300, I'm going to reach out for comments to get people that want to be a part of the giveaway. Um, and it's going to be something pretty cool. Um, so that's a 300 um, subscriber giveaway. Um, I've got 300 subscribers, but I know that all 300 of them are watching most of these videos anymore. But if you reach out to any of them or you make a comment or even they see the video and they start watching, they make a comment. Um, they're going to be probably in the drawing selection. So I'm uh, going to do a giveaway as soon as I get to that 300. don't know what I'm going to do, but I'm going to do one. Um, so if you need to replay the video, I'm not going to go over the directions again, but they're there. Um, congratulations to our three winners. Um, thank you all for participating, and I had a really good time. I lost most of my voice trying to talk about this video and these cards because it was really exciting. I thought it was, um, but hopefully round three will be just as exciting. And we'll see what we got coming around the corner, um, hopefully soon. So as soon as I get my 10 participants, I'm going to open them, do the video, and have a blast. All right, catch you on the next video. Deuces.